Right then, it's the 16th of April 2021. It's been quite a morning. I'm out at uh, Sanford, got off the 126. Um, there was only two of us on the whole double decker. It had been steamed and cleaned. And uh, up there is the quarry. I'm not doing the quarry today because what happened? I'm an hour late. Because what happened was they're doing roadworks and new bus stops in Western Super Town Centre, Marine Parade. And it's messed up all the buses. So basically, the bus didn't stop on the seafront like it always does. Um, and I haven't been on a bus for five months. Since November the 5th or 4th. I didn't realise that you had to pick it up at the railway station. So anyway, I got up early. Nice and relaxed. Breakfast. Nice gentle walk along the seafront. Took some pictures of some swans, thinking, oh yeah, got 10 minutes yet. And what happened was, the bus didn't, wasn't going to pick me up on the seafront. By the time I realised, and I'd, I'd arrived at the bus stop, and I was just looking at these yellow signs. I hadn't been there for, let me say, five, six months, so. And I looked, and I said, Oh God, it's not stopping here. Some buses were still stopping, but not the 126. And I, it was five to nine. <sighs> the bus was going to leave in five minutes from the railway station. It took me ten minutes. Nearly 15 minutes to get there, it had gone. I'd missed it. I was, I was a bit disturbed because I got up. I had, I was taking my time. I wasn't rushing. Anyway, the speed march across town did actually wake me up a bit. It wasn't as bad. It was sunny and warm. It wasn't raining. I went in the railway station to use the ladies. They let me come in with my mask on. I explained I'd missed my bus and I didn't realise the venue had changed. And I had half an hour to wait. Anyway, fortunately, they let me use a loo. Then I... Another lady was at the stop. She was early as well. And... Uh, it soon went the time. But, of course, um... You know, with chatting and stuff. But what happened was, I was an hour behind. So, although I normally, quite often, I go in the quarry, I've had to cut it out today. That bit, because that would have been the first hour... So I'll do another walk another time. Just spot some bluebells over there. Uh, see them? Longwood will be getting like this now. And there wouldn't even be time for Longwood today. Now I'm an hour behind. I'll make that a separate trip. Another time in a couple of weeks when the wild garlic could be out. In May. So anyway, I got here in the end and then I was going along and one of my children phoned me, he pretended they were BT, asked me if I had any problems with my line. <sighs> oh dear, so funny really. <sighs> anyway, I'm, I'm out now and it's, I can hear the birds singing. Um, I'm, I've got off at Sanford, I'm going to walk across this walk I usually do like I said I've got to miss the quarry out today unfortunately got to miss the quarry out um, it doesn't matter I wouldn't want to rush it anyway um, the quarry where the peregrine falcons nest because I've noticed already my bag with an extra bottle of water how much heavier it is already. And I've already taken my scarf, hat and gloves off. 
I've worn a lighter coat, thank goodness. And I've, but I have put leggings in, windproof leggings, in case it's cold on the way back. I don't want to get on that bus like I did in November. My legs froze. It was awful. Because we had to have the windows open, you know, COVID <sighs> rules and everything. <sighs> anyway, so I'm going up this lovely little track. I've seen a few people out. Not many. Not, no one's behind me at the moment. It doesn't take long for people to catch me up. I would have liked to have done the quarry, which is just over there. But um, I'm happy to leave it for another time. But the bluebells are looking gorgeous. All the way through there, look. Gorgeous bluebells. Spring is definitely here once you see them. I've been so looking forward to this walk. I'm not worried if I don't always do the quarry, so I'm not going to be too worried by that. But I, I hate losing an hour. But I did check with the driver, the last bus. First of all, he said it was um, an hour earlier than what I knew it would be. He checked three times. In the end, he said, no, it will be leaving Wells at 20 to 6, the last bus. Which means I'll get to, in theory, get to Cheddar by about 8 minutes past or 10 minutes past 6. So I don't have to rush. I was, I usually like to get the five o'clock one. Then I know there is another one coming. But of course, one year they cut out a couple of buses. And you can only get a bus every two to three hours. But it seems ridiculous with the restrictions lifted and the summer coming to have cut the service now. I expect the drivers have had quite a good, easy time of it. Um, without having to have any passengers. <laughs> I said there's only two of us on the double decker, one up and one down. I opened the windows upstairs actually because they weren't open. Right, I'm going to turn off just take a few pictures now. So I'm on my way up. Some familiar ground. I'm heading for a Row Barrow Hill Fort, although I'm not going to be doing the hill fort today. I'm going to go up through the wood, Dolbury Warren. I'm going to weave in and out the trees, which I've missed. I haven't done this particular walk for probably two years or a good year doing the weaving bit. Right, over and out and take some pictures. Some lovely scenes here, see? It's pretty, isn't it? Lovely life. Lovely. Over and out. Back on again. Carrying on the walk. I wanted to get this walk done today. The weather's nice. It could have been alright for a cycle, but I decided I wanted to do a walk. Um, basically, tomorrow it's, I'm going to be tied up watching telly a lot. We've got the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral tomorrow. So that'll be on the telly all day, even though the procession and all that is sort of half past two-ish to three, there'll be the minute silence and the ceremony. It is Some of it is being televised. The, I don't think they're going to televise the lowering of the coffin down into the vault, though. But, um, yeah, we don't have to watch everything. It's like we don't always watch people being put in the ground, you know, on telly. You see the ceremony and you can see the gravesite afterwards. I think these are birch trees or beech or birch. I can never remember which. Anyway, so the last time I came over here, I did do the quarry route. But um, I don't mind missing it today. There are There is another way up that you seem to be able to go up takes you on this side of the quarry so there's a part of the Robert Warren I want to do so that's taking priority with my decision making oh, yeah, it was nice to hear from one of my kids to phone me up I haven't seen her for a 
could be a year even, I don't know. Um, no, we didn't see each other at Christmas and Easter or... I'm keeping the distance. She's going to have... Um, What's she going to have? Yeah, she's doing her self-testing. Everyone can get these free COVID tests now. You can pick them up from chemists and centres to, to put up your nose type thing. Um, nice to hear from her, though. I do worry about my children. All of them. My son phoned me not long ago, offering me his car. Another daughter phoned just to remind me she loved me. And of course, I've got one that lives in the same building as me in a different flat. So I, we see each other. We're in a bubble. Um, yeah, but I really needed to to get out today. Um, I do a lot of walking. I go over to Sand Bay and I do the woods, uphill, that sort of thing. Um, it's still a bit too windy for my liking and cold for the bike. I don't like breathing in cold air. So um, I was going to... This probably could have been one of those sort of days where I could have risked it, but... Actually, I can now see some cows in here. I've got to enter cow territory. This hasn't happened before. All right, I'm just going to climb over the gate, but there's cows, look. Hopefully they're friendly. Let's climb over the gate, everyone. One and two and very I could get in that gate there. If you don't want to go in with the cows here. I could go into a different field. I could go into a different field. Because there's a load of cows in there. I think I'll go in this field and come out lower down, just in case. I'll go in this way. I can walk through this field, I think. I just don't want really, I don't fancy going in a field of cows. I don't know if I can get through here. There's a way out over there. <clears throat> it's alright, I don't mind exploring. Normally I'm walking on that path, but there's some bullocks in there. They're all walking down that way. There's a big group of them. You've got to be careful. I don't mind walking here. If they tell me off, I'll say, well, I didn't want to get killed by a cow. And I know there's a gate down the bottom, so I'm not bothered. I just say that I'm nervous of cows. Hope you don't mind. This is like an outdoor pursuit camping site. I've seen a lot of people last year um, with their camper vans and their tents. There'd just been a terrible storm and some of them had only just sort of held on all night. It's a lovely tree, that one there, look. It's holding on because it's a high up. It's more exposed, that one. So basically, it's holding on to its buds. You can feel the nippiness more. Over there, that hill over there, that's Robo Hill Fort, but I'm not climbing up it today. So I've missed the quarry. I'm not doing the hill for it. I'm going down through the valley where the stream is, and then I'm going to weave in and out Robo Warren. Um, I'm going to weave in and out Robo Warren till I get to the area of outstanding natural beauty. And it would be amazing if the bluebells were out up there. See, I wouldn't normally come in here. It's normally 
lots of people, but there are some good views here. Some different views. Over and out while I take some pictures. Right, carrying on the walk. Rilboa Hill Fort right in front of me. Here's the outdoor pursuit camping area. Probably not open yet. Maybe it's still a bit too nippy. Toilet block there. Lovely tree there. All these trees are hanging on. They know not to uh, come out yet. So another time when I come here, this will probably be filled with campers and young people doing their map and compass. They do lots of different things here. You see them carrying great big rucksacks full of their tent and everything as they go off into the hills on uh, missions. They do uh, abseiling from the quarry and it's all well organised. Yeah. So I've picked another good time to... Sometimes little events like the cows, they allow you to divert. And uh, then you get more images, you see? You get more images. Now I'm glad I've got my uh, a sort of winter jumper and my put my not my thick black trousers on. Um, these are sort of what you can wear in the winter and the summer. But for later, if I feel I'm nippy when I get to have to go on the bus later, I will put on my windshield trousers. They're very thin and light and slightly waterproof, but they will keep the cold off my legs. Um, or we'll wait and see what happens when the time comes. Yes, you can hear the birds chirping. Yeah, there is a walk through that wood I've not done yet. You can pick it up further down here. There's um, a couple of pubs. Not yet, but um, this is a, like, this comes under the umbrella of Churchill. You've got Sanford and Churchill and Winscombe. And uh, I've got a feeling there's walks within this particular wood as well that you can pick up down here. And I think it will take you back to the road. Um, for picking up other buses. Oh yeah, I've been thinking about this walk. I'm glad I de deviated a bit and came off. See, you can even get water there, there's a tap. It's just handy to know these little things. If you were out on a walk, say I was coming back and I'd been on a big hike, I know that there's a water tap there. And the gate's open, so there's no problem. I don't normally come in here. This is uh, it's quiet at the moment. So I'm going to turn off again and take some more photos, folks. Over and out.